pipelines are very important in every sales process. So in a nutshell, a pipeline is a visual depiction of where the prospective customers are in the sales process. So begin has a very easy way for us to create pipelines and make use of them. In the home page, you'll find that there are these modules, the pipeline, the, the contacts, companies, products, and things like that. So when the pipeline is green, it means we're in the pipeline module. The pipeline module is connected to different modules. So you find that as we use the pipeline module, we are also going to be making use of different modules. Right now, we're going to focus on creating the pipeline and making use of it. We do have a sales pipeline, which is a new lead. If a new lead uh, has been uh, found, you can then send a quote. So once that is done, you move the new lead into the quotation section there. If uh, there is certain information that is required, you can simply add that information and move to the next part. But the first thing that we need to learn right now is to create a pipeline. How do we do that? There are two ways of accessing that function. You can either click this plus sign or you can come here where there is a gear icon and then you go to it says stages. Once you are there, you click new team pipeline. Right now, we want to make use of the easiest way to do that. So we go back to the home page and we click where it says team pipelines. Once we do that, we are prompted with several questions. Do we want to create a new team pipeline or a sub pipeline? We want to create a new one. We're going to talk about sub pipelines uh, in a different video. You can pick from an existing template or create from scratch. Creating from scratch will give you uh, more options. So right now we're going to create from scratch. The first thing we need is the name of the pipeline. Let's just say, for instance, it's a car rental. Then we're dealing with the deals here. There are permissions that you can also add if you have different uh, categories of permissions. Right now we have the administrator and the standard permissions which allow people to access if we had a team. Then we go to the next one. These are the stages now we are creating. So there is always an opening stage and a closing stage. So for example, if someone walks in, is a lead, and uh, you might want to uh, ask them uh, what kind of car they are looking for, you provide them with a quote. So you are on the next stage. You can then ask them for their documents. You are on the next stage. And the closing stage is the car is rented or not rented. So we can say one or lost. So in this case, let's say a person walks in or they send in information through the website so that's a new lead so that's the first stage that we'll be dealing with and the next stage would be then quoting the person so if the quote has to be sent then the next stage is if the person accepts we will be asking them for information so we can say documents if the person moves past this stage it's either they are that we have won the deal or we have lost it because if they do not have the correct documents, we can't provide them with the car. if They don't have a license and things like that. So it can be won or lost. So these are the last final stages which close down the process of that prospective customer. Once we do that, we go to the next stage. These are the fields that have to collect information while we are creating that deal. So in this case, there's a deal name, there's a company name. You can actually remove these fields or add them, um, whichever uh, that you like. So in this case, probably we could then remove the company name. Say we're dealing with individuals. Uh, then if we would have wanted, we would have put a description uh, which explains what kind of information that we need from there, the expected revenue. You can just do that by just moving this there. And you can take it out by clicking the remove sign. Once you do this, you are done with setting up a team pipeline. We're going to talk about associated products in a later video. Right now, all you have to do is to click save. Now you see we have the sales pipeline which we had when we started, but we now have a car rental pipeline for small cars, which is new now. The next thing that we need to do is to find out how to add deals and how to move them through the pipeline. 
all you need to do is to click here where it says deal and it's going to bring out the information that we had set up if you have several salespeople, you can then change the owner right now i only have one user but if you have different users you could assign it to different salespeople. the deal in this in this case is for a person called greg old we don't have them as a contact so we have to add them as a new contact we are now linking to a different module so right greg we have the company name does he have a company probably as a company so let's just add the new company as um hold, hold limited once we do that we save so we have created a new contact we've created the company name what's their email address and then their phone number once we do that we then save so this deal has been connected to a person called greg to their company called hold and we can even add a few descriptions as to what kind of car they need probably they said they wanted a sedan for four people and then the next thing is then to choose the stage we start with a new lead that's where the sales process is starting from we can even put the amount let's say we expect them to pay 150 from what they were telling us then we find the due date that depends with your company once we do that we then say save we will be taken to Greg Hold as a contact. We will see everything that affects uh, their account. So in this case, they are in the new lead. This timeline shows us everything that has happened. If we move them in the timeline, this will show here. If we are going to put any notes, for example, uh, to say we called Greg, we save that, and that's now a note which other people can access or you'd know anything that you did with greg if there are activities that you want to engage for example you want to place another call you can actually log it here to say i want to add a call that i'm going to make you can also add this there are tasks that you need to do to ask for documents and things like that you can also add tasks from this section if you send any emails from this system they will show up here this is the stage history any files that have been uploaded or products that the company is selling that are attached to Greg Hold. So this is what we see in Greg Hold's deal. Any information that affects his deal is going to be seen from this. Say you want to add a tag, probably when you finish, you can actually automate tags or create them directly. In this case, let's just talk about adding tags. So you come here where it says tags, and when you click it, there are existing tags which are there, but you can say, uh, one is a tag so if this process is done and the person is uh, you've won the deal you can simply add the one tag and you do that so that tag will be added and it will show how tags are going to be used in future videos so once you do that you are done with setting up the deal on the home page you are seeing that we have a new lead so if we send a quote we simply move it to the next part and the deal is now in the quote section what happens when we do that if you open the deal itself it will show you the stage in which greg hold is in so you see we've moved him to the court stage so everything is recorded even the stage history will show us what's happening we are now in the court stage that's the current stage so each time anything happens you can actually see the actions there as you click into greg holds account or into his deal so this is how you move through different stages there is automation which allows uh, emails to be sent tags to be put whenever you move the deal through the sales process we're also going to deal with those in later videos but this is how you create pipelines this is how you move deals if you want to close your deal now you simply go to where it has been said one and we now have a $150 deal, as you can see there, that we got, and it's done. There are a few housekeeping things that you might just need to know about. We have a lot of ways to sort or to customize or to filter this information. You can actually make use of those filters, say filtering by the latest email status, uh, untouched records, or by amount, 
or by a sub pipeline you can do that on these deals you can also view deals that have not been viewed yet and things like that also you have a way to view the information so you can have a list view which is not sorted in a deal fashion so you see everything as a list in that case but i usually make use of this one it's easier to uh, organize your information say you want to add more information on this card so that you don't have to open it and you just want to see everything or most of the information on this card we can do that by customizing the card so for example you want to see the deal owner you want to see the description and the tag once you do that and save the system will update and this information will come out here so instead of opening it every time you can simply see the information from the card itself it makes it easier for you to know what's happening with you with different deals especially if you have several customers sending a lot of queries at the same time it's easier to make use of these pipelines whether they're tickets whether they're deals or anything like that that requires you to track the information say sometimes you have information that is coming from external sources probably a form that you put on a website what can be done is uh, to make use of uh, this function where you need to probably approve that information it is reviewed probably by a manager and then they approve you can approve your deals by coming here and if there are any pending deals depending on the pipeline we're dealing with you'll find that the deal will be here and once you approve it it will then come to the appropriate pipeline that you need either the sales pipeline car rental pipeline it will go to the right pipeline and then you start making use of that deal so this is how we make use of the sales pipeline in begin crm if you need assistance in setting up begin crm i'm available you can just go into the description below and you will see um, a link there that will take you to my account and I'll be able to assist you.